Good morning, Grade 4. Welcome back to Grade 4 Mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So, we have already seen the measurements of length and also the measurements of weight. Today, let's see a few measurements of capacity and also the conversions of different units of capacity. So, what do you mean by capacity? Capacity means how much something can hold. If it is a liquid, capacity means how much liquid or the amount of liquid something can hold is called its capacity. Now, we use different units or there are a few commonly used units for capacity. We use milliliters or liters commonly, but the standard unit of capacity is liter. Now, let's see the units of capacity. So, one liter, you all are familiar with the term liter. So, liter is represented with the letter capital L. So, 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Keep this in mind, make a note of it in your notebook. 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. So, if 1 liter is equal to 2000 milliliters, what would be 2 liters? 2 liters would be equal to 2 into 1000 milliliters, right? So, it will be 2000 milliliters. So, what would be 3 liters? 3 liters will be 3000 milliliters, 4 liters, 4000 milliliters and it goes on like that. Now, if 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters or 1000 ml, what would be 1 ml? See, 1 liter is equal to 1000 ml or 1000 milliliters. What would be 1 milliliter? How would we find it out from here? See? We want to make this side 1. This is 1000 milliliter. How do we make it 1 milliliter? If we divide this 1000 by 1000 itself, we get 1 here, right? So, since we are doing it on this side, we should do the same this side. So, I am going to divide both sides with 1000. So, here it is 1 liter divided by 1000 and here it is 1000 milliliters divided by 1000. So, number by number itself, what is the quotient? 1000 by 1000, it is 1. So, here we have 1 milliliter and here we have 1 liter divided by 1000. So, hence we can write 1 milliliter is equal to 1 by 1000 liter. So, keep in mind, make a note of this in your notebook. 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters and 1 milliliter is equal to 1 by 1000 liters. Now let's do one activity. This is from your textbook, page number 134. You can see this picture there. Tick the measuring cylinders that will together fill the jack completely. We can see a jack here which has got a capacity of 800 milliliters and here you can see a few measuring cylinders and each one has got a capacity. The first three ones have a capacity of 200 milliliter each, you have to tick the measuring cylinders which will add up to 800 milliliter. So, which are the measuring cylinders? The first one is 200 milliliter. Let's select that one. Now, we have to select one more. So, now it is 200 plus 200, 400 milliliters plus this 200. Now, it's 600 milliliters. Now, here 100 milliliter cylinder is there. So, let's take that. So, 200 plus 200 plus 200 plus 100. That is 700 milliliter in total now. But we have to get to 800 milliliter. So, it is 700 till here. Here, 250 milliliters. Let's take both. So, right now we have reached the 800 milliliter mark. So, these many cylinders can be used to fill this jack completely. So, I hope this is clear to you. Now, we will see some examples of conversions. Convert 3500 milliliter into liters and milliliters. You see the given measurement in is in terms of milliliters but you have to convert that into a combination of liters and milliliters. So, when you are given a question like this, the first step you can do is to split the given measurement for the ease of conversion. So, the given measurement is 3500 milliliter. It is not exactly 3000 but a little more than 3000. How much more? 500 milliliter more than 3000 milliliter. 
So we can split this 3500 as equal to 3000 plus 500. This is for the ease of conversion. Let's see 3500 milliliter can be split as 3000 milliliter plus 500 milliliter. Now you see we have to convert this as a combination of liters and milliliters. But the question is in terms of milliliters only. Now that we have split this part, we can convert this 3000 milliliter in terms of liters. See, 1000 milliliter is equal to 1 liter. So, what about 3000 milliliter? 3000 milliliter is equal to 3000 by 1000. Why? 1 milliliter is equal to 1 by 1000 liter. So, what would be 2 milliliter? 2 milliliter would be equal to 2 by 1000 liters. 3 milliliter will be equal to 3 by 1000 liters. So, what would be 3000 milliliter? It would be equal to 3000 by 1000 liters and that is equal to 3 liters. Now, we have 3500 milliliter written as a combination here. So, instead of this 3000 milliliter, let us replace it with the converted 3 liter. So, instead of writing 3000 milliliters, we have written it as 3 liters and plus the 500 milliliter which was already in the question. So, let us add that to the 3 liters. So, it is 3 liter plus 500 milliliter which is the same as writing 3 liters 500 milliliter with a space in between. So, here we have changed the measurement given in milliliters into a measurement with a combination of liters and milliliters. So, I hope this question is clear to you. Now, convert 22 liters 10 milliliters into milliliters. So, the question given here is in terms of 22 liters 10 milliliters and we have to change that into milliliters alone. So, for the ease of conversion, let us first split the given measurement. So, 22 liters 10 milliliters can be written as a combination of 22 liters plus 10 milliliters. Now look at the question. We have to change the given measurement in terms of milliliters alone. So here we have a milliliter part but we have a liter part also. What we can do? We can convert this liter into milliliters and add it to the 10 milliliter so that we will get a final answer in terms of milliliters alone. So let's see the steps. 22 liter 10 milliliter is equal to 22 liter plus 10 milliliter and 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliter. So we can write 22 liters is equal to 22 into 1000 and that is equal to 22,000 milliliters and we have a 10 milliliter already given in the question. So 22 liter 10 milliliter is equal to 22,000 milliliter. See, instead of writing this 22 liters, we have replaced it with 22,000 milliliters plus the 10 milliliter. And that is equal to 22,010 milliliters in total. We have changed the given measurement in terms of liters and milliliter into an equivalent measurement in terms of milliliters alone. I hope this is clear to you. Let's see the next one. Convert 42,340 milliliters into liters and milliliters. Now, the given measurement is in terms of milliliters alone. We have to change that as a combination of liters and milliliters. So, as a first step, what we can do? We can split the given measurement in two. So, the given measurement is 42,340, which is a little more than 42,000. So, let's split that as 42,000 plus 340 milliliters. Now, we can easily convert this 42,000 in 42,000 milliliters into liters. How? 1 milliliter is equal to 1 by 1000 liters. So, 42,000 milliliter is equal to 42,000 by 1000 liters. This is equal to how much? It is equal to 42 liters. So, right now, we have changed this part into its equivalent in terms of liters. Now, the question is to represent this given measurement as a combination of liters and milliliters. So, now we can write the given measurement as 
equal to 42 liters plus 340 milliliters which is the same as writing 42 liters 340 milliliters i hope this is clear to you now let's see one more question convert 62 liters 180 milliliter into milliliters so the given question is a combination of liters and milliliters so let's split that for the ease of conversion so how can we write here we have after splitting we have a little part and a milliliter part and we have to change everything into terms of milliliters alone so we have to convert the liter part into milliliters how do we do that see one liter is equal to 1000 milliliter and hence 62 liters will be equal to 62 into 1000 which is equal to 62,000 milliliters so we have changed the 62 liters in terms of milliliters so we can write the given question 62 liter 180 milliliter is equal to instead of writing 62 liters we have written 62,000 milliliters the equivalent of 62 liters plus the 180 milliliter which was already given in the question add them together and we get 62,000 180 milliliters see we have changed the measurement into in terms of milliliters alone so i hope this was clear to you now you have to go to the topic measurement of capacity in page number 134 and also 135 of your textbook go through the topic once again and then move on to exercise 9.5 you have to complete all the questions from exercise 9.5 in your notebook then take a picture and send us routines so that's all for today children hope this was clear to you we'll meet again in the next class with a new topic till then bye